Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. We are starting our power integrity tutorial series and this is the first part of power integrity tutorial series. Today we are going to see power delivery networks or power distribution networks. Let us see the table of content. First of all, we are going to see the introduction about power delivery networks. Then we are going to see the issues related to PDN. And we are going to see the tools that are used to analyze the power delivery network and solving the issues related to power delivery network. So this tutorial will give you a brief idea about the power delivery networks or also known as, known as power distribution network. So let us see the introduction to PDN. PDN refers to the power delivery network that contains all the interconnects in the power, power supply path from a voltage regulator module to the circuit on the die. So what does that mean is, so a power delivery network basically comprises of a, uh, comprises of a VRM, the PCB board, the decoupling capacitors or the, the output capacitors also are included in this and the BGA pack die of the sink. So this part which I am mentioning right now is the sink. So if we talk about a power delivery network, there are two major parts of it. One is the VRM that act as a source and the number two is the sink that act as a receiver. The current requirement comes in the sink which is being fulfilled by the VRM and the rest in between the whole channel itself is known as the power delivery network. I hope that this is clear. Let us quickly discuss about the issues related to PDN. So basically there are two kind of approaches that we are going to do. First is DC and AC. So DC approach includes the issues related to the IR drop across the plane. And under the IR drop we are going to see few more things like the voltage drop across the plane, the excessive via current the high current density that we are going to see. So these basic, these three important issues leads to the PCB tear off basically. Okay. The second issue is related to the AC analysis of the power integrity board or we call as the power delivery network. So first is the simultaneously switching noise. So SSN is basically a basically known as simultaneously switching noise that comes into picture when we are having multiple sinks, multiple sinks connected to a single VRM. So for example, this is my VRM which has been connected to multiple sinks and it is providing power to multiple sinks. So this is the VRM and this one is sink one. This one is sync 2. Consider that it's an FPGA and this one is uh, my microprocessor unit. So whenever uh, whenever there is a current surge at the S1 as well as S2 together or I can say whenever the switching happen that the task switching happen in S1 and S2 together. So it creates the SSN noise simultaneously switching noise both of them switch together there will be a certain surge of current at both the S1 and S2 that need to be addressed by the VRM and this is known as the simultaneously switching noise in the PDN. Basically it creates that noise. I hope that's clear. And the next thing is the instant transient current requirement by the sink. Exactly as I explained here. So there will be a sudden surge whenever your for example your VRM is there and which is connected to your sink. So in the sink whenever uh, the sink for example FPGA is there and whenever FPGA switches its functionality from one functionality to other functionality. So during that switch it requires a sudden surge of current. We call it as transient current. That current is known as transient current. So that sudden surge of current which is required by the sink from the VRM so it increases during the switching so that also becomes an issue will my VRM be able to provide that much of current to my sink or not so that will definitely tamper my power delivery network and that will that need to be addressed on a priority I hope that's clear so let us see the tools that are used to analyze the power delivery network 
so basically cadence design system comes across comes with two tools one is power dc security power dc and the other one is optimized pi that is security optimized pi so if you want to do the dc analysis you will go with the power dc tool and when it comes to the ac analysis you have to look for the optimized pi so under the dc analysis we are going to see the the voltage drop voltage drop across the plane then we are going to see the via current and then we are going to see the current density across the plane current density as i already mentioned about these three points so if you want to analyze these three points these three points comes under the dc analysis so cadence design systems comes up with security power dc uh, see under the security family there is a tool called power dc if you need a separate video on how to use these tools we'll create it just comment down below with your queries so in order to do the dc analysis you use power dc and in hyperlinks that is by the mentor graphics in hyperlinks we are having hyperlinks pi that take care of both power both the dc as well as ac analysis and in case of ac analysis if you want to go with cadence design system there is a tool called signity optimized pi so this signity optimized pi is one of the best tool available in the market because along with the pdn impedance profile this gives you an uh, an edge over the other tools as it helps you to optimize your board for example if you have used multiple capacitors which are not even uh, suitable or what not even needed for that particular pdn you can remove that the tool itself smartly gives you an idea of the number of capacitor or the capacitance value or the best performance capacitors and everything can be optimized by yourself it provides you multiple schemes in order to do that so let us quickly see how to overcome the pdn issues power delivery network issues so as i already discussed about the dc as well as ac analysis so while doing the dc analysis basically if you want to cope up with the voltage drop across the plane so if we talk about the voltage drop so voltage drop across the plane can be can be reduced by increasing the plane area by increasing the plane area and uh, there are there are something called the via current density if you want to lower down the via current density then there are two points there, there are two things that you can uh, that you can do is do here first is uh, in order to reduce the via current density first is the distribution of vrs across the plane near the vrm how you are going to distribute your vrs that plays a major role and the second thing is even if you have a very complex design where it is not possible for you to to make changes in the layout then instead of that you can use power vias power vias or those vias that has high current capacity high current carrying capacities with them so even though if your normal via can withhold 1 amps of current these power vias can withhold up to 2 amps or 3 amps of current as per the design and if you want to if you want to get rid of a high current density at few places on the board so it's always or it's it's always advised not to use the sharp edges on the planes okay and uh, avoid using the power plane islands even small small islands it's better to keep a bigger one so that the the, the voltage uh, voltage distribution is equal as well as it gives you a better result uh, for your ir drop analysis and if we talk about the ac analysis so pdm pds impedance profile is very important for example if your uh, if your line impedance is 50 ohm so in your power plane around 50 ohm is the maximum impedance that it can take so maximum impedance is 50 ohm so in order to keep this value low all you need to do is use the decoupling capacitors and in such a way so that the capacitors that are having their esr esr is equivalent series resistance value nearest to the resonating frequency as well as the resonating frequency of the capacitor is nearest to the frequency where your uh, where your particular uh, plot is failing so those things comes into the picture if you need a separate video with tools on this you can just comment down below we'll create a video for you on this
Thank you for watching this video. You can share your feedbacks and queries in comments down comment down below and please do like the video and share the videos if you if you find it useful with your other colleagues and do subscribe the channel and help us grow and press the bell icon so that you will never miss a notification from us thank you